time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Let me ask the audience on this one. Well, y'all seem to know y'all's berries more than I do. <laughs> y'all are right for $4,000. Right for $32,000. Right. <sighs> Might as well pick something. I can stare at this from now to Christmas, and it's not going to get any better. No, it was Casablanca. Dang. The Olympics is the Greeks. A. Right answer for one thousand dollars. <laughs> now, join us from New York for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Thank you. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Sunday Night at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You know, about getting on this show, some people call our hotline, win, and they hear within a week. And other people keep trying and trying and trying. Sorry about that. You take Scott Goodman from Appleton, Wisconsin, for example. Every day the phone lines have been open since last August. He's been on that line dialing away. And finally, finally he's here. Just goes to show you that persistence can pay off. So, Scott... Any advice to the people who keep trying every day like you did? Just keep trying. I mean, it took me a long time. I well, certainly you got through and took a test here and there. Oh, definitely. I mean, I was getting them right and just weren't, wasn't getting the call back. And I kept thinking, they're never going to call. And then they finally called. And I mean, Emily and I just couldn't believe it when they called me back. And that was about a couple weeks ago. And then it's just been whirlwind since then. And I mean, you just keep trying. You'll be here eventually. Okay, that's good. Good advice. And Emily, his wife, talking about, there you are. Hi, Emily. How you Hi. doing? All right, Scott, look, you're doing well here. You've won $1,000. You're 10 questions away from winning $1 million. Here's how we play. The more questions you get right, the more money you win. Once you reach the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave you with at least that much money. You have all of your lifelines left to help you out. 50-50, ask the audience, and you can phone a friend. Play along with Scott. Log on to ABC.com. Click on the Enhanced TV logo and play against everybody at home using ABC's Enhanced TV. All right, Scott. We're ready here. Are you ready? Ready to go. All right, audience, shall we do it? Yes, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Here we go. Here it is now for $2,000. What actor interviewed President Clinton for an Earth Day 2000 ABC News special? Was it Richard Gere, Woody Harrelson, Sting, Leonardo DiCaprio, I remember reading about Leonardo DiCaprio interviewing Clinton. I'm not sure if it was about Earth Day, but it was a, about a month ago. I'm going to go with D, Leonardo DiCaprio. Final answer? Yes. Leonardo is the right answer. Yes, for $2,000. Nine away from $1 million right now. We're looking at the $4,000 question. Here it is. What modern toy was developed in the mid-1700s and advertised as a dissected map? Lincoln Logs, Kaleidoscope, Jigsaw Puzzle, Crossword Puzzle. Of the four, the only one that really makes sense to be a dissected map would be a jigsaw puzzle. Lincoln Logs, obviously, would have to be after Lincoln. Crossword Puzzle, I think, is turn of the century. Kaleidoscope. I know it's, early, it's, it's fairly early, but I don't think a dissected map doesn't make sense, so I'm going to go with Jigsaw Puzzle. Okay, sounds great. You ready to make that your final answer? Yes. Yes, Jigsaw Puzzle, the right answer. Nice job working that out. Thank you. Okay, here we go for $8,000. Here it comes. In what U.S. city do the Ohio, Allegheny, and Monongahela rivers join? Memphis, Pittsburgh, St. Louis, Cincinnati. Three Rivers Stadium is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. B. Final answer? It's final. Yes, if you're a baseball fan, you know that. All those games with the Pittsburgh Pirates. You're doing great, you know that, don't you? You're yeah. good. Seven questions away from a million. Yeah. We're going for $16,000, Scott, here it is. According to a character in a poem by Robert Frost, which of these 
make good neighbors. Good manners, good sidewalks, good fences, good harvests. I know there's a saying, good fences make good neighbors. Didn't know if it was frost or not, but that would make sense that it would be. And we've had situations where this would definitely be true. So um, I'm going to go ahead. Good fences make good neighbors. See. See what I like about you? No vacillating. No <laughs> worrying about it. Should I call the audience? Should I call my brother in Ohio? You know, yeah. you're going for it. I'm going. Final answer? Final answer is good fences. Right again for $16,000. We'll take a break. When we come back, he's going for $32,000. All three lifelines. <laughs>